It's hot. Oh my God. <laughs> Get this tank over with. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? All right, Uncle Nicholas, and see you another time. We are headed on our way out to Delta Junction. Yep, we have an Airbnb in Delta Junction. Apparently have a sauna. <laughs> yeah. Which I really have a hot tub, but uh, I guess it has a sauna. We will see what the sauna looks like. All right, we'll see you in Delta Junction. Anything exciting happening out here for you? Not today. No. <laughs> Yesterday we had a grizzly bear up the road. Did oh, you? That was cool. Yeah. So, I actually had a few recently, but. Okay. You carry <laughs> bear, bear spray on you? I do. I keep it on my truck and then I try not to venture too far from the vehicle line. But yeah. Um, gotcha. Honestly, once we get late enough in the day, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. Stay away. Yeah. 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 One thing about Alaska is you can have. Uh, quite a few delays often because of the road and the permafrost and stuff uh, in the winter time and the weather conditions create a lot of heaving and uh, bad road conditions so they're always repairing the roads and um, we were warned coming down this section that in combination of several construction things we're gonna have up to an hour wait. When we were up here with the motorhome there's like these frost heaves that you don't see until you're on them and they're basically dips in the road um, and uh, so you, you dips kinda in go, the road you kind of go flying <laughs> you can get airborne if you're not paying attention yeah. or <laughs> lose your transmission or but they, a little annoying because you can't see them and then all of a sudden by the time you see them you can't slow down enough and just got to pay attention to all the waves in the road so we got about a 20 minute delay here so So this is the Alaskan Pipeline. Uh, apparently it goes 800 miles. The diameter of the pipe is 48 inches. It crosses three mountain ranges and over 500 rivers and streams. Cost $8 billion to construct in 1977. So pretty cool seeing this along the way. They bury it where the uh, ground conditions allow it and they put it above and above uh, enough above the ground that permafrost or from the heat of the oil doesn't cause permafrost to uh, thaw but we see this quite a bit along this one's going from Prudhoe Bay to the Valdez Marine Terminal obviously this was above ground at one time I'm guessing Sure, but we think that this is our cabin for the night. I think we probably should look at the picture on the phone and see if that's the case because there's nobody here. Well, no, it's self checking, but uh... it's self checking, all right. <laughs> but let's see if this is. Uh... Five cabins, it says. It's yeah, this is six cabins. There's six cabins. More than five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no. Six furnished cabins. Okay. Five cabins offer double bed and single bed. And one cabin. I mean, this has got to be it. So, let's go knock and see if somebody's <laughs> in there. Wait, you said this place had a sauna. It where? Does, so where? Sauna. Where's the sauna? <laughs> it's inside the... In our thing? thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, we again... Have, but we have somebody else to sell us back here, so... 
I'm sure this is it. Even Again, no idea where I'm staying tonight. Well, this is an Airbnb. This is a, a little better. It's in the middle of nowhere, kind of. Well, I mean, all of Alaska is, but <laughs> this is on the way from the Canadian border um, coming in. But, of course, nobody's crossing the Canadian border, so... So it said it had the keys inside. So see if it's open. Yeah, it's open. Here it is. So where's the sauna? That'll be our indicator. <laughs> ah, let's see. Rustic. There's the sauna. This is it. Wow. Bob. I'm impressed. You have upgraded us significantly. So you can't come to Alaska without staying in a rustic cabin, right? <laughs> I think this is our sleeping seat. quarters. Uh, the kitchen. Wow. A little upstairs loft. Holy smokes. You've outdone yourself. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. It said it had a full kitchen, so, and it does. It's nice. Full stove, all the dishes, everything you need to actually cook with. Microwave, refrigerator. All right, this will do. So since we thought that we were supposed to have a full kitchen, I decided to make dinner tonight, hoping that when they said we had a full kitchen that it meant it had a cooking top and pots and pans and things. And so we stopped at the grocery store to um, buy some things to make a meal. So I'm just gonna make a simple, pasta dish with some salad um, but one thing you need to be aware of when you come to Alaska that prices are quite a bit more than you would have ex would expect so you have to weigh that with eating out versus making a meal buying the whole thing when that could have cost you the same as eating out but I don't enjoy eating out all the time um, I, I want to make my own meals sometimes and I think a good example to tell you on the differences in prices not that I bought this but a box of macaroni and cheese there Kraft macaroni and cheese is usually 89 cents a box here at this grocery store it's 275 a box so it is a big difference in price but to me, it is also worth it to have a more healthy sit-down meal and not have to go through a fast food or a food truck and just to cook. So even if it had a microwave or a hot plate, I can make a pretty mean meal out of just that. So we are going to have dinner tonight and actually at a real table and with silverware and uh, pots and pans and plates. So. And hopefully I can hook up the Chromecast. They have Wi-Fi here. <laughs> and we watch the NBA Finals. So and in, the, in the middle of nowhere, we can watch the NBA Finals, maybe. And then end our night in the sauna, maybe. Yeah. Did you get it working? It started. All right, we'll see. <laughs> we, have a, we have a guest that just arrived see? in the front door of our cabin. This was my surprise. <laughs> surprise! <a> dog. <laughs> Going, coming to Germany with us in a few days. <laughs> Thanks for visiting, buddy. It's hot. Oh my God. <laughs> Get this tank over with. <laughs> this is the first time uh, we've ever had a sauna. In Talk our, faster. In our, yeah, in our room. And we've stayed Ooh. at, uh, I don't know, like a couple thousand places in the last five years and uh, never had a sauna so this is so, an experience so we haven't done very much today we just drove a lot of miles we drove about three hours and we are just chilling at our place and ending the night in the sauna yeah yeah i mean it was a good drive it was beautiful but a lot of driving in uh, alaska to get from place to place but it was good good day so thanks for watching everybody see you tomorrow we will see you tomorrow hopefully <laughs> it's hot